So who's ready to give? Hallelujah. Woo! Thank you, God. Can't Giving is God. It's so natural as Christians to give. Amen? <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Come on now. I can see you online. So good. See those eyebrows? <laughs> Amen. So we got um, Pastor Jeff, he's going to come. Yes, and, um, hallelujah. Bring us around the giving. Hallelujah. Table. Amen. Oh God. For a moment, I thought we were, you know, Presbyterian church there for a while. <laughs> Good afternoon. You all well? Um, that was just so prophetic what you said, Rob, that we are... Uh, destined to give. Is that what you said? Something like that? That's just what I'm saying. And, and you must have looked at my notes and uh, Andrew must have looked at my notes as well. Um, just uh, powerful what God's doing. I just um, want to uh, focus on uh, Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 again. I've spoken about this before and I just love uh, that scripture. Uh, it talks about uh, God says, let us make man in our own image, uh, in our likeness, let us make him and let him rule and reign. There's those two things, let us make man in his image. And I mentioned that the last time I, you know, and you, God spoke to me about uh, that God is a spirit, so we are a spirit. But then the last time I shared, I, I got a further revelation about how we are supernatural. God has created us in his likeness and in his, in his image, so we are supernatural. We are eternal. Uh, we live forever. Um, and, uh, but you know, if you look at that scripture in Genesis 1, 26, I'm just going to read um, that, and it says, um, let us make man in our image, in our likeness, and let him rule and reign, and there's that rule and reign, it's there, God's purposes for creating us was to rule and to reign, and to take dominion, and uh, straight after that, um, in verse 27, it says, so God created man in his own image, so what God said in his word in verse 26, he did in verse 27. God always does what he says in his word. Whatever God says in his word, he will do. Whatever God says in his word, he will do in your life. Uh, so if you look at scriptures like um, uh, Philippians uh, 4, chapter, uh, chapter 4, verse 19, it says, then God, my God, my God shall supply all your needs according to your riches in glory. What's it there for? Is it there to make up space, to, to make up the pages? It's not there to make up the pages. God has decreed that he will do that, that God will supply all of your needs according to his riches in glory. So God will do what he says in his word. And if you want to go on from that, there are just unlimited scriptures about what God says. And, and uh, you know, but how's it going to happen? You know, in, in Philippians 4.13, it says, uh, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That's powerful, but you've got to believe it. It's not going to happen because it's just there on the, on, on the, on the page in black. And, in black. It's got to happen. It's got you, you, as you release your faith, those things happen in your life. God is able to do those things in your life when you release your faith. Amen? Our faith speaks. And, uh, you know, what we, what we say is, is, is our faith speaking. And, um, you know, and I... I see that and I, I get excited about that and I believe what God says that, there, that he's going to do in my life. So that's, my, um, that's my, my thing for this year is to believe what God says in his word, that he's going to do it in my life. Um, you can believe what he wants to do in your life, that's up to you. But as far as I'm concerned, I want to believe what God says in his word, he will do in my life. And, uh, you know, I want to get excited about that. I want to God, allow God to build my faith and uh, to, to uh, believe for that. Um, you know, so I, it's exciting. If you go back to um, the Garden of Eden, and, um, and this is what Andrew was saying, you know, that through that uh, we get to know God. We get to know the Father. And, um, you know, one of the things that, uh, that we see in, in the Garden of Eden is that um, God came down and had fellowship with Adam and Eve and just talked to them. You know, we are created, uh, in going back to that scripture, we are created to hear his voice. We are created to know him, to know his nature. We are created to know him. We're created to know his voice. That's what we're designed for. We, we are designed and created to have a fellowship and have relationship. And sure, you know, as, uh, as Andrew said, we stuff that up. But, but, God, but Jesus redeemed us back to the Father, back to these promises here of ruling and reigning. Uh, and, and, uh, and God wants to partner with us and wants to partner with you. And the only way that's going to happen is, is through faith. 
And so that's why it's important for us to have faith and to build upon that faith, to strengthen that faith, and to believe that that faith, what God said in His Word, He's going to do, and He's going to do it in your life. And that's what I choose. That's what I'm going to choose in 2022, to believe what He's going to do in my life. So when it says that God will supply all my needs according to His riches in glory, you know, that's what I'm going to believe for. And, uh, you know, and I believe uh, uh, just w what... Um, what Rob says that we're created to give, and, and I was going to talk about that, Rob. We are created to hear his voice, but we're also created to give. That's just part of because God is a giving God. We are created in his image and his likeness. So if God is a, a giving God, then we are a giving God, and we need to give, and, and that's why I just love being able to give. Um, Elizabeth, Elizabeth's the main big giver in our, in our family, and she comes up with the radical ideas, and I say to her, You've got to be joking. <laughs> you know, you've got to be. <laughs> and I come up with some ideas, but uh, she comes up with some amazing ideas on how to give. And that's, that's just part of her nature. She wants to give. Uh, you know, it's part of a mother's heart as well, I guess, to give. And, um, you know, I, 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 I love being challenged by her outrageous ideas. And I think, you know, well, if God gave it to you, I'll, I'll have to go with it. I'm going to go with it. So um, if you look at Genesis chapter 4 verses um, 2 to 5. This is um, uh, the story of uh, Cain and Abel. So, um, so uh, uh, Eve gave birth to uh, Cain and Abel. Now Abel gave, uh, kept flocks and Cain worked the soil. And in the course of time, Cain brought some of the fruit of the soil as an offering to the Lord. But Abel brought a fat portions from some of the firstborn of his flock and the Lord looked with favour on Abel and his offering, but on Cain and his offering he did not look with favour. So Cain was very angry and his face was downcast. So I, I just take from that, you know, that, that, that uh, Abel was just giving out of his nature, out of the honouring the way God created him, to give and to give and to give. And, uh, you know, that's what he did. He gave out of his nature and he was honouring God, demonstrating how God had created him as a giving person and how God was a giving person that also he wanted to give. And, but whereas Cain, you know, he was very slack about his giving and didn't give according to what God really wanted and to the way God had created him to give. And sometimes we like that. When we, when we withhold from what God is doing in our hearts and our lives, you know, we're not demonstrating God's nature inside of us. We're not demonstrating the character and the, and the way God has created us to give. And, uh, you know, when we're dishonouring God by not giving. And, uh, you know, my, you might think that's pretty strong, but I just, I believe that. We, we're not honouring God, not demonstrating what, what God has done in our hearts and lives, the way he's created us to give. And, 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 you know, Cain was very cranky about that because God never accepted his, his sacrifice, but he accepted Abel's sacrifice because he just gave out of the nature that was, with, was, that was within him. So we, we've been redeemed back to that, like Andrew said, we've been redeemed back to that to, as that giving nature. So I just wanna, want you to encourage you to stir up that nature that God has given inside of you to give and to give and to give. And uh, when you think it's outrageous, you know, you still give. Um, you know, we, we give, um, yeah, you can hand that around, um, Stephen, if you like, and um, uh, Keith. Uh, you know, God's created us to give, and, and, and I want to give out of that, and, and it's take a step in believing that God and to, and to give out of that. So if you see, um, um, Cain and Abel gave, and then if you look at um, Noah in uh, Genesis chapter 8, where am I? Genesis chapter 8, verse 20. This is, uh, you know, God was totally dissatisfied with the world because men were just following after evil and every inclination of their heart was towards evil. So God wiped out, you know, the face of the earth and, and, but Noah was a, a righteous man and looked after God and looked up to God and, and trusted God and lived after God, lived in righteousness after God and was obedient to all the things that God had spoken to him about. And um, so he kept him and, the, and the, you know, the story about the, the Noah and the ark. And uh, when the, uh, the ark had landed after the flood, uh, you know, what is the first thing Noah does? First thing he does, he just wants to build a, a sacrifice and give to, the, give to God because that was his nature. That was within his nature, just to give, give to God for the, the grace and the mercy that he showed uh, upon him and his family that he saved them 
and uh, rescued them and kept them. Uh, and God will do all of those things through you. You know, it, it doesn't mean that he's not going, to give, not going to do that because you're not giving, but he just does that anyway because that's his nature. His nature is to give. And, uh, but in that scripture, uh, chapter, Genesis chapter 8, verse 20, Then Noah built an altar to the Lord, and taking some of all the clean animals and the clean birds, he sacrificed burnt offerings on it. And the Lord uh, smelt the, uh, the pleasing aroma. Isn't that amazing? When you give, that is a pleasing aroma to, to God. And God loves that. God loves that when you respond in faith. Uh, you know, we don't give under law, do, do we? You know, if you see some of the laws that, um, that Moses brought out, you know, you need to be a, a more theologian <laughs> college student to understand all the uh, instructions on the law. But, but you know... He's uh, able, just giving out of because he loves to give. And Noah, just his first response was to give. And, uh, you know, that should be our response as well, just as a, a testimony and a demonstration of what God has done in our heart, the way that he's redeemed us back to his original purpose. It's a testimony and a demonstration of God's uh, redemption on our lives when we just give and give and give when we want to give. That's part of our nature to give. And then... Um, uh, that was uh, a s- s- sweet-smelling aroma to his... And, said, and, G- and God said in his heart, Never again will I curse the ground because of man, even though every inclination of his heart is evil from childhood. And never again will I destroy all living creatures as I have done. As long as the earth endures, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night will never cease. So the conditions for you to, g- to give never change. There's always conditions there for you to give. There's nothing, there's no one, anything that is an impediment from you to, for you to not to give. Amen? Every season, you know, you can give. And it doesn't matter whether you're struggling, you can still give. You can still give something and God will show you something of what you can give. Uh, and, and I get, you know, I get excited about that. I get excited about that. You know, we, we've, uh, God has given us opportunities to give and, and um, you know, and, and God, but God has given, always given back to us. And, um, you know, I just want to encourage you to, to do that, to step out in, in, in faith and step out in, in giving because it's through giving and it's through faith that God is able to release all of his abundance, all of the good things into your life. It's only through faith, you know, and God, as you respond to him in faith, God is able to pour out his spirit and pour out all the abundance and the goodness of God over your life and in your life and in your family. And, um, you know, I, I get excited about that. And I get excited about being able to hear his voice, being able to, 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 to be redeemed back to the nature of God, able to know God, able to know the God of all creation, the God of heaven and earth. And, um, you know, I just love that, love being in that position to hear him, to talk to him, that I can talk to the God of all creation. It's just the most mind-blowing thing that you can ever, uh, that you can ever, ever have. And um, so I release my faith. And the only way that we can connect with God is through faith. We don't connect through God through our, our talents and our abilities. It's always about our availability, you know, and, our, and just trusting God. Just trusting God. What God says in his word, he will do. I am a new creation. Uh, any man be in Christ, I'm a new creation. Uh, all things have passed away and behold, all things become new. And, and all of those things, God has promised them. And uh, so God, you can reach out and believe for those things that what he says in his word, he will do in your life. Amen? Isn't that exciting, isn't that? Exciting. So, uh, you know, don't, don't get too... So God, and also just... I know I'm preaching a bit here, Rob, but I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, God measures your measure. God measures your measure. You know, that, that scripture in Luke 6, 38, it says, Give and it shall be given unto you. For with the measure that you give... Um, oh no, I missed out the beginning and the middle. It'll be uh, what you give will receive back to you, running over, poured out in your lap in, in abundance. And whatever you give, it shall be given back to, to you. So God measures your measure. And um, so, uh, you know, and, and whatever you do, and give, uh, God loves a cheerful giver. That's that scripture in 1, 2 Corinthians, uh, 2, yeah. Uh, God loves givers, loves givers, and, and God will measure, God always measures your measure, and you think, well, that's a bit harsh, but it's in the Word, you, you're going to say the Word of God is harsh, you know, the God is not, God's Word is not harsh, it's true, and you've just got to reach out and believe for that, so what do you do about that, when I read something like that, that challenges me about my giving, 
uh, challenges me about being a cheerful giver and being a giver, you know, that God measures your measure. And to the measure that you give it, we measure back to you. So let's get, let's get excited about giving. Let's do it in faith and believe God that, uh, that it'll be measured back to you. Uh, all the goodness of God and we, and we receive those by faith. And we give by faith and we receive by faith. And, uh, you know, it's exciting. So don't let, you know, we're going to be, a, a, it's going to be an exciting year, 2022. We're going to face a lot of challenges, uh, situations, uh, trials. Uh, but, you know, never exalt them. Never exalt anything above the love of God. Never exalt anything above the love, love of God. Let the love of God touch you. Uh, and, and let the r- love of God rule and reign in your life. We give too much access uh, to our mind and our brain to the enemy. And if, he, if, if you give it that access, he'll take it. <laughs> he'll surely will take it. And he'll get in there and I, I sit there for about 10 minutes and I get so cranky with myself that I've let the enemy get access into my mind for that length of time. I thought, what are you doing, Jeff? Wake up to yourself. And so I'm, I'm, I'm learning to not give the, any access to the enemy. So we're going to face some situations, but listen, let not give, let's not give the enemy any access. Let not exalt those things above uh, the love of God. God loves you with an everlasting love. That's his nature. Uh, we, we've, been, we've been joined back to the nature of God. We've been joined back to him. Uh, through the redemption of what Jesus Christ did on the cross. So let's pray. Father, we just thank you that you've created us to hear your voice. You've created us to give. And Lord, we just want to give of ourselves. Uh, Lord, even if we haven't got anything to give, we give of ourselves. It's a sacrifice of praise, a sacrifice of worship. We can give that to you. We can honor you and lift up your name. Lord, when Noah, the first thing he did when he got off the ark, he lifted up and, and gave an offering unto him. Uh, Lord, and, and uh, you provided that. You did that with Abraham. You provided an offering. And God, you always provide. There's always in season. There's no season where we can't give. God, you always gives us uh, opportunities to give and to give and to give. And Lord, we want to just be obedient to the word of God that, that what you say in your word, you will do. Uh, what you say in your word, you will do in my life. You, you Lord, when you come in, you change my life completely. We are redeemed back to our nature. We are redeemed back to hear your voice. We see where at, um, God came down to Adam and Eve and they had a great fellowship and relationship and they had a communication together. We are designed and created to hear your voice and, Father, to communicate with you and, and have a relationship with you. We thank you, Lord, for this, this opportunity to give, Lord, uh, today in Jesus' name. Amen.